we, okay, we'll just start from the beginning. My mind will work better that way. Um, so, um, a little bit about my story. Is that something happening? Can you still hear me? Yeah. Okay. Um, so a little bit about my story is that I've experienced depression, uh, kind of to the point where I, I questioned, you know, if life was worth living for or what I was doing on this earth and kind of went through a really big existential depression kind of crisis. Um, and during that time, I experienced loss in my family and that was sudden. So um, I was young and I didn't really know how to process that. Um, and then I started experiencing um, physical symptoms of anxiety, but I didn't know what it was. And so it prevented me. I couldn't sleep. Um, I couldn't really eat well. I didn't know how to socialize anymore. I didn't want to leave my house. I was afraid to leave my house. If I thought about um, thinking about talking with people, that would make me really nervous. And I'd just rather be in a room by myself. Um, and all of that was before I was pregnant. So when I was pregnant, I was dealing with that too. And then being a planner, I wanted to think about the future. So how am I going to provide for my child and take her out and socialize her if I don't even want to socialize? So I was just in this big ball of fear. Um, and then after, after um, kind of settled into pregnancy a little bit, got close to birth, um, I had some complications with my pregnancy, a bit of a traumatic birth. And that was just another another thing that was just in my occupied my mind space. Um, then coming out of that, I was in postpartum depression. So <laughs> navigating anxiety that was now not just for me going out to seek help, but how do I keep my child safe? I just had this constant fear and worry of is she going to still be alive when I put her down and I see her in the morning? And so I spent a lot of the first couple of weeks and months um, Googling and just being um, reading as much as I could. And I just remember being in those moments when it was dark and everyone in the house was sleeping uh, and just thinking like, I wish I had someone to talk to about this because I didn't have a lot of family support. And if I, uh, the little bit of family support I had, they were very traditional in a different way. They didn't quite understand where I was coming from. So I felt quite alone in that. Um, so I kind of wish I had that. <laughs> I had this passion, this desire started bubbling where I'm like, I wanted to be part of something where we could connect and it wouldn't have to be to give answers, but just to connect and have that face-to-face -face contact where someone like myself who was an introvert could still get that without having to step out <laughs> and go to a big group of people. Um, and so that's kind of, you know, where I see like, how can we get out of this? How can we rise out of this? Um, and on the, on the other side of that is I, I've worked in ECE for about 10, 11 years. So I've worked with children from zero all the way to 13. So I, I kind of started blending that together. And that's kind of a little bit of who I am is that I, I love creating foundations for families and speaking from my experience in my group and kind of see where I can provide that support and a little bit of hope to other people because there, there is a road out of it, but it's a tough one, but it's much, much better done with other people. <laughs> Absolutely, 100%. And I love that about you, Fiona, that you've, you've really been in the, in the trench and you have the education and you have the experience. And so if any of you have young, young children um, or a baby, Fiona is an amazing coach. And as you can tell, she's lived it. And in order to be on this team, you have had to go through hell and back. That is, that is, that is the criteria and maybe a little bit of expertise. So that's beautiful. Thank you so much, Fiona. So you have what it takes. You can be like Fiona, keep going, keep being resilient, keep pushing through, but what's the problem? Well, the problem is what Fiona mentioned. What Fiona mentioned is that too many parents are doing this alone. We're left to read books, we're left to read blogs, we're left to figure it out on our own. Google is now our best friend. You know, before Google, there was this thing called community. There's this thing called people, there was a village. And, you know, slowly but surely, our society has been shrinking and shrinking. And the brokenness that goes on behind closed doors is, well, it would break your heart to know. Because who are you going to tell? You know, who are you going to tell when, when things are just so rough at home? Because we're afraid of judgment. We're afraid of what to say to other people. And so one of the things that we've really determined here 
is that this will be a safe place. And it has been. Another problem is barriers, barriers to actually getting help. Um, how many of you have, have reached out for counseling or some kind of help for your child and have to basically jump through hoop after hoop to get help? Is any, anyone? This is a real problem. And so we wanted to make help accessible. Like right away, you need help, we will get you help. Like now, none of this two year waiting list. And so that's another problem. Um, so isolation of parents, not being able to, um, to get the help. And then another barrier is, is just the disjointedness between counseling, coaching, the education system, you know, all of these things that form our, our village for our families is very disjointed. And so I am really proud that we have Elizabeth, who is a school principal. Um, and Elizabeth, I would love for you to share for a moment. She's on our team. She's one of our coaches. And Elizabeth is, is bringing that gap of the village and school, like education together. Elizabeth, why don't you share a little bit about that? Well, thanks, Connie. Um... I think it's really important from the standpoint of being able to have that connection with school. And I think um, so often parents come in with, you know, this has happened to my child or this is what's going on or so on without, without the piece about coming in and saying, can we work together? Because it's often, and, and I get it, I, I get the, the piece about parents. These are your children. You want the best for them. However, if you want to be part of a team and you, and, and you, you are looking for the school to be supportive of you, then it's really important to, to come and say, can we talk? And can I learn, can I understand what's going on from the school perspective? How can we make this work? So I have this friend who who, as an example, you know, this friend who has a child in the school system who's, you know, really struggling with, well, how does it work? How do we, how do we get my daughter into school? How do we do what we need to do? And so from my perspective as a school principal, I want to be able to know about that so that I can say to this parent, look it, let's sit down and let's bring together the people on the team who are going to be able to help support you. So that means, you know, sometimes it could be an attendance officer because the child hasn't been coming to school for a period of time. It's not the end thing, but that's that person is a social worker so that they can come in and sit at the table. It might be a behavior uh, consultant or a behavior psychologist. We bring that person to the table as well, as well as the parent, so that the parent knows that there is a big community around that child. And, and I think oftentimes parents feel like they're on their own and that the school is over here and the family is over here and never shall the two meet other than to send your child off to school. So there needs to be a different kind of connection and a different kind of communication for things to really work. So it is okay to go in and say, you know, can I have a meeting with the principal? Not to override the teacher necessarily, but just to say, this is what's happening, you know, can you suggest and work together to make a difference here? Yeah, and I love it because, you know, when we think about a lot of the challenges that our children face and that we face as parents, well, much of that comes from school, education, right. and having a school principal as a coach on our team has just <laughs> been invaluable. How many times have I called Elizabeth in the last year? So well, you know, Connie, and it's really about, and everybody else on the call, it really is about relationship. There's no doubt about that. You know, I put the curriculum secondary to establishing relationship, making the student feel welcome and, and comfortable in school as best as we can. And at the same time, being able to understand that we're all human and we're all trying to work through this together and we, we can do what we can do. And then we look for outside resources as well. So there isn't, there isn't only one single answer. It's about conversation, it's about communication, and it's about relationship first. Because if you don't have that, and the student doesn't feel welcome or they don't feel loved, 
and the parent doesn't feel love, then we're always going to be at odds. And of course, I need to feel love too. So, you know, just so you fit that in. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. No, thank you so much, Elizabeth. We love having you on the team. You know, our, our goal, our goal for you right now is, is for you to feel surrounded, for you to feel like you have a team of professionals who can be your bottom hands, your side hands, who can have you when things get rough, but for you also to have a crew, a tribe, a village of people. One of the things that we continually have heard since we've launched in March is that so many people who've had a lot of behavioral issues or any kind of mental health problems with their kids, their friends don't understand. And one of the things that I've learned and just in our own personal journey is that my, you know what, my friends didn't understand. Five years ago when we were in a crisis, they didn't understand. And a lot of people won't understand it. It's not because they're jerks. It's because they've never walked this. And so we've created a tribe, a village of people who are walking through this too. So your friends can just be your friends and we can support you in ways that maybe your friends can't. Uh, a lot of you know my story, um, but I'll, I'll share it in case you haven't heard it. Um, my, my, I have two boys. My oldest is now 14. My youngest just turned 10. But when my oldest was six years old, he was diagnosed with anxiety, depression, oppositional defiance disorder, ADHD, and autism. And I'll tell you, uh, the, the journey up to getting that diagnosis up till six years old, we thought parenting was so hard until our youngest was born at four years old. We, we thought that we were horrible parents because our oldest, it, it was a hard go. And we fought for that assessment. They didn't want to assess a six-year-old, but we knew that this had to happen. And we were on a waiting list and we thought, no, we have got to get this. We took out a pension of $5,000 to get our son assessed because we were that convinced that if we don't do something for our son, then we're in trouble and he's in trouble. Well, we got the assessment and <laughs> that's great. But after the assessment, all we had was information. We had no more money to pay for counseling or help. We were knocking on doors. We went from pediatrician to pediatrician. We kept saying, our son needs help. Our son needs help. They kept slamming the doors on our face, not because, again, they're jerks, but because my son would act like an angel in those, in those sessions. And at eight years old, my son became suicidal. Eight years old, my son. And we had to take him to the children's hospital where he finally got help because oftentimes, and this is something that I'm really advocating um, for, is that we cannot allow our children to get to a crisis of suicide before we get them help. That's not okay. It's not okay. And so there was my boy. And that's why this is so real for me because I, I, I can't let, I cannot let any parent uh, take that journey of allowing their kid to get to that place before they get help. And so my son was in the hospital for three weeks. And of course, that's where they try out medications and they, and they monitor them. And I remember the psychologist asked me, what does depression look like for your eight-year-old son? And I said, it looks like rage and anger, outbursts, swearing, wrecking our house, threatening me with knives, threatening himself with knives. And again, who do you tell? Do I post on Facebook, my son is threatening me with knives? No, I do not. I was very open on my Facebook about our journey, but that was something I, I really didn't share for quite a long time because there's a lot of judgment. People don't understand that. The psychologist then asked me, so what do you do when your son is throwing these fits of rage? I said, well, I send him to his room. And I tell him, you can't come out until you're gonna be a good boy. And she said something, and, she, and the reason you are here right now, the reason we have a Brave Parent Institute, the reason I have found these amazing coaches and, and our counselor is because of what the psychologist said. The reason why my son is alive is because of what the psychologist said. She said, oh no, you never send the hurting away from you. You bring them closer. And I did not know what that looked like. I remember he came home from the hospital medicated, right? Counselor, I thought, okay, life is going to get better. And then that first fit of rage hit again. And guys, I wish I would have had this village. I wish I would have had 
Shelly, our counselor, who could have held me through that. I wish I would have had our coaches to say, Connie, this is what you need to do. We're with you. We're, we're going to walk you through this, this valley. I wish I would have had the supportive parents to be like, hey, we get it. I wish I would have had it. But, but now we have it for you, which is great. But that year, I took a year to show up for my son in his rage. I would remove all the sharp objects. I would keep him in the same room. But I needed somebody to walk me through that because I had no clue what I was doing. I still, and now he's 14, and that's a whole mental health issue all on its own, friends. I need a village to walk me through. And so the good news is my son is still here. And, and in many ways, I say he's thriving because he's not where he was. Now we're dealing with some other things, which you'll find. One of the things we believe at the Brave Parent Institute is we don't fix your kids because kids aren't to be fixed. You're not to be fixed. We're not here to fix anybody. We're here to get you through the rough patches of life. Your kids are going to go through seasons just like you do. You've probably had times of super highs in your life, but super lows. Your kids are going to go through the same, whether they're 4, 8, 16, 21, 30. Our kids are going to go through seasons of their life. Do you have the emotional regulation and the mental capacity to handle their highs and lows? That's what we're here for. We want to help you. We want to hold the parent. This is our mantra. This is the mantra that I wrote in in the dirt. I, I talk about dreaming from the dirt. Dream, get a dream for your family. And if you're in the dirt right now, dream from the flipping dirt, because that is where dreams can actually rise up. And, and I often will say that if you're in the dirt, there's only one way to go and that's up. And even if you're going down, well, you're getting the right root systems. Because how many of you know, you need a really good root system in order for your tree to grow. And so this is our foundation of where we build. I am brave. I show up when it's hard. I love without walls. I forgive when it hurts. And I rise through the storm. So it's time for you to see change. We, don't, we, we have seen so much in our own lives and in our practices that it's time for you to experience this. And the one who changed the most in my family wasn't my son. It was me. It was me. And that's what we lead parents through. It's called the Brave Parent Institute because we're calling parents to bravery. You never send the hurting away from you. You bring them closer. How do you do that? You got to be someone who can do that. And so I want to invite um, another one of our amazing coaches. Um, Sally is our connection coach. Um, the secret to mental health in our children is connection. And Sally, would you be willing to share just for a moment about why is connection so important? Sure. I, I mean, connection, I always say, is the holy grail of parenting. And we all think, well, you know, they, we either overcomplicate it or undercomplicate it. And, you know, I have three children, two are bio, and they are, they are adults, sort of. They think they are. And I also have a little, and I thought I had this connection, this parenting gig down. My boys were doing good. Everything was going great. And then we just thought, oh, well, here's a good idea. Let's foster a little girl from the system. And she came with unmeasurable trauma, all kinds of issues. And holy crap, this is not a child that came from my body. This is, not a, this is a child who spent, who was found in a crack den. This is a child who had prenatal exposure. This is a child who lived with another woman for a year before we got her. And then this was a child that I had to send with a complete stranger every Tuesday morning in a car to go to the Boyle Street Mission. And I was not prepared for what that was gonna to do to me and my parenting. And I realized that I had to up my connection game. And it is the holy grail of, of parenting because your child can be bonded to you, but not connected. Bonding means they, you are familiar, they love you, you love them, they're in your home, you're familiar. Connection means you're their go-to. And it is so, so important. And we cannot, we, 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 we cannot put enough emphasis on connection as far as I'm concerned. It is huge. And people say to me, well, I don't know how to connect with my child. Just you have to be their go-to. You have to be, you don't want them going to their friends at school. You don't want that. You want them, you want, you want to be their soft place to fall because then you notice I said fall and not land. 
because landing is in control and our kids sometimes fall and you got to be there and they got to know that you're going to be there and they got to know that they're the, you're the one that they can trust. So I'm very, very big on connection to the point of probably with my grown boys nauseating, but that's okay. <laughs> They're not 25 yet, so they still think I'm stupid, but that's okay. <laughs> And we've heard that when, when kids turn 25, that there's going to be a whole yeah. new person. This is what we hear. I, we'll I let you know wait. if it's true. <laughs> yeah. Three more years, folks. Three more years for me. <laughs> yeah. I, I, love, I, love this, uh, I love this quote here. Um, uh, one of you is actually on this call. This was written about um, our, our counselor, Shelly. Now, Shelly couldn't be here tonight because... Um, her son is not feeling well, um, but I love this. I, I finally feel like the person that can help us through this journey has been found. I've personally seen several counselors. How many of you have seen several counselors? <laughs> I can't tell you how many counselors I saw. And that this moved me. This is the first time I feel weightless after a session. And with some suggestions and a couple of tools, we understand where we are and that there's a direction that we can go and it doesn't feel like it's backwards or that I'm to blame for all the problems. I'm very excited for the next few days and I'm looking forward to my own sessions moving forward and our future family sessions. This group really feels like the blessing we needed. We are fortunate. Guys, I can't even tell you what that did for me because when I started this, can I be honest? I didn't know if it would work. <laughs> I didn't know. And, and all I had was a dream. All I had was my own experience, what I wish I would have had. And I cried when I read this because our counselor, I do believe, is probably the best counselor on the planet because I've met too many. And she actually cares, A, but she, her approach is, it actually works. And when I read this, I'm like, yes, God, thank you. Thank you that we're actually providing some real answers because parents, when you're working, you don't have time to be looking around everywhere. And, and if you have a son like mine, you try three counselors, three strikes, you're out. They will never go to a counselor again, um, or it'll take a lot of convincing. And so to know that we have a good one really does bless my heart. So do you want to change the game for your family? I think that's the question for you. The question for you is, do you want change for your family? Do you, do you want to be a brave parent? Do you want um, the hope. You may not know how, but do you want it? How many of you would say, yes, I want that. That's me. I would love that. Yes. Because that's the first step. You have to want it. Um, and, and notice that I said, change the game for your family. Not, do, do you want us to fix your kid? Because <laughs> we're not going to do that. That's really too much. So before we go on, we have a couple of other um, coaches here. Um, Amanda is also here. Amanda ha is our health coach. So one of the things that we really believe in is we believe in a well-rounded experience. So some of you might, how many of you pay for a gym membership? Anyone pay for, people are like, what are you talking about? Why would I ever do anything like that? <laughs> so, um, our membership acts kind of like a gym membership, but we actually have a personal trainer. Not only is she a personal trainer and she posts actual workout videos for us, but she also takes us on an actual health journey because we really do believe that when parents are healthy, when parents are well taken care of, then so are your kids. And so Amanda, why don't you talk to us a little bit about why this is so important? Absolutely. Well, um, obviously, we've been hearing a lot about how it's important to change yourself and take care of yourself as a parent before we can really be what our kids and family needs. And so that's what I'm passionate about is really just how are you caring for yourself? How are you filling your cup so that you are able to actually give what your family needs? Because uh, when you're not okay, those around you will not be okay. And so, yeah, I just I'm passionate about um, parents and, and women being able to see that like yeah you know what I'm not doing okay and a lot of times you know it's hard for us to think that maybe physical activity exercise movement <laughs> and is going to help us um, but I can tell you it will. but it's usually the last thing on our list we you know 
we're especially dealing, you know, if we're dealing with some big issues with our children, it's really hard for us to look at how we need to care for ourselves. So our focus is always immediately, how do I need to take care of my kid? How do I need to take care of my kid? Uh, but my, my encouragement and some of the things that's so wonderful about this group is we are offering you some tools in this toolbox to help you care for yourself so that you're able to be filled up and feel healthy and strong mentally, physically, emotionally, so that you can kind of help bring that to your family as well. So that's, that's what I get to do with this group and I absolutely love it. It's amazing because um, what I really love is that I don't have to go to the gym anymore. <laughs> Amanda's got me covered and, and she's also there to, you know, to really make sure that we're healthy. I, it's awesome, Amanda, I love it. Uh, we also really believe in, of course, self-care. And one of the things that I always say is stop liking posts about self-care on Instagram and start, take, start taking care of yourself. And Kristen is one of our coaches that really leads, well, I don't, I don't even think self-care is her whole scope of practice. She gets in the mud with you where you are and she'll just sit with you there she'll do whatever it takes and then she will like slap you no like she will she will bring you she will guide you out of the muck and so Kristen why don't you tell us a little bit about your the way you coach people thank you Connie the way I coach people is the way I coach myself <laughs> because I think I, I, I call myself self-taught this brain needs a lot of coaching and um, I just to share with you, I had to leave my family to take care of myself. So I'm a coach in a parent group and I don't live with my kids. And I never thought I'd say that. And so the thing is though, that's what I needed to do. That's how, how much care I needed to give myself where I couldn't do it in place. I had to, take myself out of the situation and and so I had to do it in baby steps and so I I coach you through the baby steps because how many of you like me roll your eyes when it comes to self-care you're like what is that that doesn't I don't like bubble baths I don't like that right and so what is it that's going to work for you because just like Amanda said, just like Sally said, just like Elizabeth said, we have to take care of ourselves first before we can really have patience, before we can have time, before we can have energy to look after these little balls of energy all around us. And, and we don't get it until, like Connie mentioned, we get too far gone. And that's when we know how important it is. And so, Connie, how, what do you think? No, oh, I love it. I love it. And, and Kristen, a lot of people might say, well, how can someone coach when they're not even with their kids? Well, this is, this is again, the real life grit experience. That's what I love. Every single one of our coaches has been through hell and back, and that is the criteria. And, and they have not only the expertise that they learned as a professional, but also in their own dreaming from the dirt which is what I love um, because I don't care how much uh, somebody knows. Somebody with a PhD could knock on my door right now and say, hey, I want to be on your team. And I'd be like, hey, have you been through the grit? Have you been through the fire? And if they say no, I'm like, sorry. <laughs> you got to go through the fire to be on this team because a lot of parents are going through the fire. And, and uh, I, we just need to be able to help you from ground zero. Here, I want to share with you something that we are going to be taking you through. So if you choose, some of you are already in the Brave Parent Institute and you're here because I told you that we're going to do a big reveal tonight of what we are taking you through for the next year. And some of you are thinking about joining our village. And so here's what our roadmap looks like. It is a, a year. Now, the reason why it's a year is because I showed up for a year. A lot of parents um, kind of want that new kid by Friday. They want a new family by Friday. They're like, I read the book. I applied the tools. Why is this not working? It's because that's not how life works. And that's not how relationships work. Parenting is not tools and strategies. Parenting is a relationship. 
And I showed up in my son's life in the grit, in the dirt for a year. And so I've just taken that. I'm like, you know what? Let's, let's, let's let parents know that this is a long-term commitment, not to us, but to your family. And, and I mean, if you ever wanted to bow out before the year's up, I mean, that obviously is your choice, but in order to really see the results that you're wanting to see in yourself, I'm really asking for a year. And you might be like, wow, that's a lot to ask. No, it's not. How much is your family worth? How much is your child worth? How much are you worth? Anything that really matters takes intention and it takes intention for the long term. And so I'm calling you to bravery and I'm calling you to a year. Um, every three months, we're going to move through a module of our mantra, which we're going to have activities. We're going to have suggestions from our coaches and courses. We're going to have add-ons. Of course, there's always add-ons and one-on-one -on -one coaching that's an option. Um, but let me walk you through this. So the first three months, this is where we start. I am brave. It's the first line in our mantra. It's a three-month journey where we go through various activities to build our brave inner world. Why? because peace in my heart translates to peace in my home. We believe kids, we, change in our kids starts with change in us first. And so we have an assessment. This is not an assessment on how good of a parent you are. No, this is where are you at? What are your strengths? What are some of the, what are your goals? This is very personal. This is, this is like coaching kind of thing. So please don't be afraid of the word assessment. Um, we're going to take ownership of our family story. We're going to make sense of your family story. We're going to create steps to a daily routine. We're going to discover who we are and our values. We're going to work on things like emotional regulation. We're going to tackle. <clears throat> we, are take, we are taking shame on. We're grabbing shame by the, by the horns and telling it it doesn't have any rights anymore. We're going to take you on a journey, okay? And we're going to come up with a physical and mental health plan. Okay, so that is the first three months. And then we're gonna go into the next three months, which is I show up when it's hard. And this is where we go through activities to build resilience, to show up when it's hard. What do you do when your son is threatening you with knives? What do you do when you're losing your temper and you feel like the worst parent <clears throat> ever? We're gonna build mental wellness, connection and resilience. Why? Because resilience comes to those who show up for the long haul, not for a week. <laughs> hmm. Can I get an amen in the house? Thank you. I feel Jesus right now. Goals. Connecting with our kids through their struggles. That's what we want to do. We're going to make hard marriages work if you want them to. <laughs> Communication skills. Speaking up for what you need. We're going to take those small steps. We're going to show up to group time as a commitment and create value-based discipline. And then the next month is a three-month journey where we're loving without walls, where, again, we got activities. Notice the word activities. We're not just gonna be teaching you. We're actually gonna take you through some fun activities and some deep activities to build connection and boundaries. Because parenting isn't about tools, it's about relationship. The better your relationship, the more resilient your child will be, belonging creates resilience. So we're going to work on boundaries. How many of you need help with boundaries? I know I did. I still do. Yeah, boundaries. I have nailed boundaries as the number one reason why we have mental health issues. Okay, maybe top three. It's one of the top three. Empathy skills, letting go of fear, control, and punishment as a way of parenting. Creating a culture of belonging in your home. How do you do that? How do you create trust? How do you learn to repair after there has been a, a, a rupture and then I forgive when it hurts another three-month journey where we go through activities we're going to be letting go of tr past traumas releasing forgiveness when you're ready this is very individual this particular um, module because you're on a journey and we honor your journey we're, we're, we're going to honor your journey through healing trauma and understanding what forgiveness is and isn't forgiving ourselves um, forgiving people who've let us down, forgiving our kids. It's going to be a brave three months, but we promise it's going to be safe and that we've got you. And then the last one, I rise through the storm. <clears throat> um, it's going to be a celebration. We're going to, we, ha we have lots of different activities that we're going to do there. 
Um, and then I want to show you one more thing. Um, where is it? Oh, shoot. This is where I'm not so great. Did I lose my screen? There we are. Uh oh, hang on. Oh, you know what? It's gone. Okay, sorry. I'm not very good technically, but we have a journal. Everyone who joins our Brave Parent Institute is going to get your own PDF journal for the entire year. And we're going to walk you through everything. And you're going to get a chance to really um, dive into this on an individual level. So there's gonna be two aspects. You're gonna have your individual journey with your journal. And then if you wanna um, have some time with our coaches, if you wanna have some counseling, we have that uh, along with your journey. But then we also have the group. One of the things that I've studied for the last 20 years is this thing called interpersonal neurobiology. It's the idea that you cannot rewire your brain all alone, all the time. Sure you can, I mean, you're like probably thinking, no, I, I, do, I have my practices, I meditate, I, I, I read scripture, some of you are, are free <clears throat> people, you know, like you know how to wire your brain. But here's the thing, it really solidifies in community. I've seen it over and over again. Could you take this journey on your own? Absolutely, but how's that going for you right now? How's being alone going for you? If there's something powerful about intentional community, now you, there's all kinds of community. There's church community. There's my community I live in. There's my sports team. Like you might have community in all kinds of different ways. This is an intentional community about your family. If you're needing help with your family right now, then can I dare say that this is a community that you need, that doing it on your own, you can get, you can get, you can get okay, you can get places, but how far can you go with others? How far can you go when you have a counselor, when you have coaches to walk you home, and you have others who are, every time you post on our private Facebook group wall, everybody's rallying around, everybody's saying, I've got you. Nobody's giving you whacked out advice, they're just saying, hey, I might have been there before, I, I understand, or maybe I've never been there before, but just so you know, I'm thinking of you. Imagine that for a minute. And so this is, this is where <clears throat> I feel like we have a real strength. This is the strength that I've seen in the last few months. This is what's kind of bubbled to the surface. Um, so there's a couple of, of options, the way we run our membership. One of the things that I promised myself is that I would make whatever we did affordable. Because there's, you know, it's, a, it's rough times. It's not easy for a lot of people. But I also believe that when you value something, there is something special about putting some kind of monetary value on it for yourself. When I want a dress, I don't go into the store and say, I really like this dress. Could you just give it to me? No, I value it when I buy it, right? So it's the same thing. We, we really want you to value what, what we're giving here. And so we do ask for some kind of monetary um, exchange. Now, I've made it $39 a month, like a gym membership. Because I thought about it for a minute. I thought, wait a minute. If I paid $39 a month for a gym membership and all I get is weights and a water machine and some fitness classes, that's all I'm getting. For $39 a month with us, you're getting fitness classes with, with Amanda on your own time, plus the support, plus a private Facebook group with 24 seven support anytime you need it, group coaching every Thursday night where we're gonna walk you through this roadmap and a whole crew of people who are gonna hold you up. And that's the basic membership. I was thinking this is incredible. And a lot of people don't blink at spending $39 a month on something like a gym membership. So I thought, well, then let's do that. Can you turn and let's back on? load that $39 with value. Let's load that $39 with stuff that people will be blessed by and help their family. Now, I want to share with you, um, just before I get you to ask any questions that you have, there are options to do more than that if you'd like. So for example, we have an all access. And maybe some of you brave parents right now, you're like, huh, I'd actually like this. I don't want just the basic program. 
this, this um, all access gives you a 10 week online boundaries course, an 18 keys to connection online course and my book and my online course, plus our monthly membership, plus the Facebook group, plus the weekly coaching and personal coaching and you get coach um, uh, counseling in there. Now this is how much this is worth. So for those of you brave parents who got in at 25 bucks a month, look at what you're get. Look at like what you get. You get the private Facebook group and the weekly group coaching, which is $4,800 and $1,200. And you're getting it for 25 a month. Are you kidding me? Aren't you glad you invested early? I thank you for investing early. That's 14 grand right there, friends. So don't panic. <laughs> so I'm offering this full access for $2,100 for the year for all of that. Now, if you're like, I, oh, I don't know if I could afford that, or I, what, could you have a monthly payment plan? Absolutely. $175 a month. Okay. Now, some of you are like, no, like $39 a month was a stretch. This is way too much of a stretch. This is for the people who are like, no, like we need this and we can afford this. Okay. So we've made it so that if people want some kind of all access, you can have it. And if you want a $39 a month, you can have it too. The difference with us <clears throat> is that we have <throat> counseling, coaching, and community. And no one else is doing that until they find out what we're doing. Then they're going to copy us. I just know it. Um, soon, I'm going to be raising this price, the basic membership, to $50 a month. Because even $39, I was like, oh, that's guys, we don't make a whole lot of money. <laughs> it's not, we're not getting rich on this. We do it because we love it. We do it because we believe in what we do. And so again, if you want to do the basic membership for 39 a month, um, that is going to end very soon, but it's still every parent that's on our group right now, who's, who's receiving so much value. This is what they do. This is what they're paying for access to pri our private Facebook group and our weekly group coaching. And our Brave Roadmap is included in that. And the PDF, that, that PDF of, of the journal, that's included in the basic membership. So you don't need the VIP. So this is for you. Our membership, our, our program, this is for you if your family's struggling. This is who our heart is for. Or if you're struggling, <laughs> if you're like, my kid is fine, I need some help. This is for you, okay? If you're feeling lost, what to do? Maybe your kid has some kind of mental health struggle or behavioral issue. If they're struggling with these types of things, or if you are, <laughs> okay? And if you felt judged by others and you just need a safe village, one of the things I can absolutely proudly say is that is what we are. So I have an Eventbrite link, or of course you can reach out to me. But that is, that is what we are, and that is what we do. Those are our prices. And now I would love to ask if anyone has any questions, because I would love to answer them. You can put it in the chat if you're shy or you can unmute. Hey, Connie. Yes. Hi. <laughs> Hello. Thank you so much for this invite, by the way. This is just right on time. And I'm, yeah, I'm really stoked about it. Could you put that screen back up that shows the breakdown of everything you get for the VIP access? Yes, you bet. Thank you. You bet. So this one. So it's an online, uh, so it's three different online courses for boundaries, connection, and then my book. Um, also the monthly membership, the Facebook, and the group coaching, but you also get a, a coach. You get your own coach once a month, and you get to meet with them, and you get five counseling sessions throughout the year. And what's great about our coaches and our counselors, so Shelly, our counselor, will meet with you, she'll go through stuff, and then with, with your permission, of course, whatever you're open to, um, we can let the coach know, or you can let the coach know, up to your comfort zone, um, what are the things that she's working on with you, and how can the coach keep walking you through that? 
Um, of course, whatever happens in counseling, you don't have to share it. Um, but uh, our coach and our counselor, they like to work together. Any other questions? Connie, there's a question from Andy. She's wondering what the cost of counseling and coaching is outside of the group. Okay, awesome. Yeah, sorry, I can't see the chat when my PowerPoint's up. So Andy, um, the way we work it, if, if you do a basic membership, you can book a coach at any time for $55 an hour. And if any of you come from the coaching world, I want you to know that it's at least $150 an hour for, an, for a coaching session normally. Um, um, Shelly, I believe she offers half price counseling. Um, and I'm trying to remember her rate because I think I said it wrong last time, but I believe it's somewhere around $100 for the hour for an individual, which again is really incredible. Yeah, so you can add that on at any time. You can get the basic membership and choose to do that along the way. Yes, and Elizabeth um, does hypnotherapy. So that's another option. Um, Elizabeth, you might want to describe hypnotherapy because I grew up in the church and hypnotherapy was considered evil. <laughs> so can you, can you well, let I can everyone know what it, that is? <laughs> I can call it creative visualization. How's that? Yes. Yeah, there you go. It's, I promise you it's, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's good. Don't look, don't think of movies. <laughs> no. Yes. Um, Carla, can you get the basic and upgrade to VIP? Absolutely. You could start with, with the basic and then if you want to add it, you can add it. Absolutely. hundred percent. Um, so this is a really good turkey chick. I love it. <laughs> Catherine, I love it. I love it. Um, so you can actually rotate through the coaches. Like, let's say one month you're like, I really want to work with Amanda on my health. And then the next month, like, or in a few months, you want to switch it up. Absolutely. You don't have to stick with one, one coach. Oh, there's Shelly's rates. Awesome. So those and then half price. Um, Tannis, can you pick the components you want and pay for those? Absolutely. You want to buy the online course, you want just the boundaries course, you can buy that at any time. Basically, once you have the basic membership, you can add whatever you want on at any time, which is kind of nice. <laughs> what I'm going to do is I am going to put the link. So if you're wanting to do, let's say the $39 a month, I'm going to put the link that you can that you can sign up for that. I'm going to put it on the chat right here. Now we start next Thursday with the with the roadmap, and so like there's no rush here, um, Andy. What date do you need to pay by? Yeah, there's no rush. Um, and could you could you join like in a month after we've started the roadmap? You could. But I would love to encourage you to join when we start because it really is a start to finish. Now, people will join throughout the year. That's going to happen. But for you, I really want to ask you, like, if you're here right now and you know you need this, why wait? Other than, if, like, I can't afford it. Well, that's a reason. But if there's no other reason, if you can afford it and you're here because you know you need it, my question is always, like, why wait? And that's the thing, a lot of people have intention, they wanna change, they wanna make changes for their family, but intention isn't good enough. It's all about the action. And so we wanna get you to the action. Uh, we wanna make sure that you succeed. Um, Thursday nights are mm -hmm. one hour. Um, actually, you just experienced our group coaching hour. It's from seven to eight every Thursday night. Yeah, and it's all on Zoom. Yeah, so you don't have to get babysitters. 
you know, sometimes we'll have a, a, like a weekend, like we did this, you know, where people can come physically. Um, we have those once in a while, but it's all on Zoom, which means you could live anywhere. Oh yeah, six to seven in Vancouver. Thanks, Fiona. Yes, this is Mountain Standard Time. Yeah. Any more questions before we wrap it up? Because I want to honor your time. Sorry, I guess I'll ask a question. Um, so this, I guess I'm just trying to wrap my head around it. And I also had two screaming babies while I was trying to put them to bed. And I had this in the hallway trying to listen to everything. So sorry if I'm a little behind. Um, but so kind of your whole program and um, everything, it's kind of based towards parents to help them with like, um, I guess, setting boundaries and taking care of themselves, right? So I guess, where does it come in? Is it more like the coaching to help you coach through like, if your kid has ADHD and is having, I'm like, how do you guys approach that? Or I guess what I don't really know how to phrase this question properly. <laughs> oh, so if your child has ADHD, you're asking what are we helping you through that? And is that- And I guess how more specifically, is that, yeah. Absolutely, so ADHD kids um, need, need a regulated parent. Mm -hmm. That's what they need. And so what we would do is we would help you become emotionally regulated, which will blow your mind what that does to an ADHD child. So a lot of our practice comes from knowing um, what kids need. Um, what does an oppositional kid need? What does a kid with autism need? Well, that's a, that's a really big one. Um, what does a kid with ADHD need? And what does that parent, what tools does that parent need in order to parent those types of children? And so that's what, that's what we offer. Um, we're not gonna fix uh, the ADHD in your child. We're going to help you with that. Sorry, everybody's walking around now. Now my daughter's <laughs> coming here. I'm going to go upstairs. Okay, I think that makes sense. I just, yeah, I think I have to think it over and figure out where, because we've spent the last few years doing a ton of therapy, and I feel like I've also reached a lot of, um, we, I've done a lot of work on myself already, so I'm not sure where I fit in in this whole thing, because I feel like I kind of, I don't know. I feel like I kind of want the next step where I'm like, I need to learn some strategies to help her. Cause I feel like we've done a lot of the connecting and we've done a lot of like, based on like Dr. Green CPS and stuff like that. And I don't know. So I'm just trying to figure out where you guys fit in and if it's like, a, if that's what we need right now, if that makes sense. Absolutely. Well, and you and I could schedule a call so we could really dive into that too. But I will okay. say, um, you know, it's, it's not about um, taking the parent through therapy. It's about taking you through a journey of, 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 of resilience for your family. And mm -hmm. so along the way, you know, if you're needing tools, like if your child is still struggling with behaviors of ADHD that are still kind of like, wow, like we're still in it, then we can help you with that. If your child, if you're like, no, actually we're good. Like that therapy, man, we are like rocking it now. Like, well, I don't, I don't even know why I'm here. Like then no, you don't need us. But if you're still in the middle, then I, I'm going to dare say that, that we would be helpful, but maybe you and I could have a conversation about that. Okay. Makes, yeah, no, that makes sense. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Sorry for such vagueness. It's been a long day and my oh, brain is a little hey, it's, scattered. It's eight o'clock. It's all good. <laughs> or whatever time it is for everybody. Yeah, um, thank you for that. You're so welcome, Anna. Um, and then Kathy, the, the, the sessions will be recorded. The teaching part of it will be recorded, but not the discussion because I want people to be free to share without knowing it's going to be recorded. Yeah. Oh, I love this, Fiona. The difference you can see with coaching um, would be introducing strategies and then help you come along the way. Yeah, for sure. Um, uh, Catherine says, it's also helped me deal with my own ADHD symptoms. Hey, anyone else with ADHD? Put your hands up. That's me too. Yep. I definitely <laughs> have ADHD. And so, you know, we're getting absolutely, it's, it's about our own journey with that as well, for sure. 
And, and how it works with Amanda is, well, Amanda posts um, workouts, um, she'll post meal plan suggestions, she'll post healthy snacks. Um, and then if you wanna book her as a personal trainer, then she's the same rate as all the other coaches, 55 an hour. And she's awesome. What she didn't share tonight is that she used to be overweight and she knows what it's like to be bullied and harassed and, and, and just have just the feelings of being overweight. She didn't share that. Um, and that's another reason why I really love her because she knows what it's like to not feel like you can, you know, get out of bed or what it feels like to feel limited. And so I really appreciate that about her so much. So yeah, you know what I'll do too, is I'll put my email in the chat as well. And if you want to book a, um, like a little chat of just you and I, I would be very happy to do that. Um, what's my email? It's after eight guys. I'm in bed by nine. Here we go. That's my email. Feel free to write it down. Um, send it to all your friends and the spammers of the world. No, I'm just kidding. Um, yeah, please, please email me if you'd like uh, to have a further conversation because th that way we'll know. Because I, I definitely want you to feel like this would be valuable. I mean, we created it to be valuable. So, and then Kristen is also willing to chat. Um, so, yeah, so it'll either be Kristen or myself. Awesome, everyone. Well, I hope this has been helpful. Um, brave parents, I hope that you're feeling um, excited. I, I'm actually starting right now, I'm gonna be posting a, a, a video in our Brave Parent private group, and you already have a task. You're already gonna have a task um, between now and next Thursday, and I'm gonna post what that task is, so you watch for that, and everyone else, I would just hope that, um, you know, whatever, whatever path you take, um, your family is worth it. Know that change can happen. <laughs> yes, Elizabeth, homework. And we are here. We would love to have you along next Thursday. Imagine this time next year, you look back and go, wow, like our family has come a long way. Wouldn't that be amazing? So thank you, everyone. And have a wonderful night. Bye.